Okay, so now we've got the finished form of the Ergo Mouse, and uh, because it's been designed to fit my hand, even though I had the sketched out intention of what I felt it was going to look like, in other words, having a concave surface by the jog wheel here, and the convex surface by the by the buttons here, which arguably are still the case, what I like is the actual defining lines have ended up being totally different, and so I've sort of drawn these on in pen. And I guess because it was a, uh, just this is a tutorial just to demonstrate these sorts of techniques, I guess for my own amusement I was trying to think of ways to actually preserve these lines rather than just draw them on top of the finished product at the end. So I basically took a bit of strip styrene and uh, used super glue and basically tacked it in place and kept bending it round little bit by bit and then trimmed it to fit with the scalpel. So what I had... Uh, Basically, these set up almost like little little ring fences for different areas and regions of the mouse. And uh, a nice technique I've, I've sort of developed of getting really, really thin sugru is taking it out of the packet and then using a uh, small rolling pin like this to roll it in between cling film. Now, when you've sort of rolled it, you'll find that the, not only the sugru is expanding, but also the... Uh, the cling film itself, so you need to reposition it maybe a couple of times. But what it's, this gives you is sort of sugru of a thickness that you couldn't easily press out with your fingers. And indeed, if you're working with a delicate thing like this, then it means that you couldn't necessarily push hard onto the model, or you might break it. So this allows you just to basically lay this into place, and then allow it to fit up against the side. And then once we've got a bit that we're happy with, we can obviously come back and trim out with a scalpel. And so hopefully that means that I can cleanly remove that, like so, and so you get the idea. So basically I'm going to work through the, the Sugru, which I think will give quite a nice tactile finish, um, as it means that the the Sugru mouse isn't just going to slip out of my hands when I use it, unlike a conventional mouse where you really just press it, push it around a lot more. So it'll be an interesting experiment and we'll see how it goes.